Welcome back to the channel, guys. Sorry I've been away from the camera for so long. Uh, been a busy winter. Had stuff going on. Couldn't really work on the projects. And my temporary garage, I would maybe call it, had a rough run in with a heavy snowfall. So it's down for the count for right now. But don't worry. We'll be shooting from Jamie's shop and get, trying to get some stuff done finally. But right now, I want to show you all the newest addition to the 573 Racing Fleet. It is a truck I have tried for 15 years or better to get. And my girlfriend and her mom made it happen last Christmas. But we just now managed to go get it because she lives four hours away from us. And every time I'd try to go or something like that, something would come up and I couldn't afford to. Or weather would hit or, you know, I'd give you a whole list of excuses. Plain and simple, we didn't get it till last weekend. So, for those of you that really know me, you would assume my dream truck is a Dodge, given that I've got four Dodge trucks at the moment, plus three Dodge cars. Got them sitting right there, plus my Jeep. But it's actually a Chevy. I have been in love with lowered OBS Chevys, the GMT 400 platform, since high school since I could first drive, really. I've always wanted a Mustang, but as far as trucks go, I've always wanted this. Here she is in all of her uh, glory. Now the cool thing about this truck, we call her Long Haul. She's got a 5.7 Vortec, a five speed. It's a one ton, as you can see. But here's the part I'm in love. Crew cab long bed we measured it out it's something like 22 feet from bumper to bumper it's the longest vehicle in my fleet i think jamie's truck is a little shorter he's got a crew cab short bed but this is what i wanted almost it's a single wheel i'm going to convert it to a dually but Right now, it's got to tow my race cars because I'm wanting to trade my 2019 Ram in on something a little more fun and a little cheaper. Now, don't get me wrong. She's not perfect, but she's mine, and the price was right. It's got some cracks in the dash, needs mirrors. The seats are in pretty good shape other than this hole right here. And it's up there in miles. Five-speed truck, small block. I think I already mentioned that already, though. A pretty awesome sticker collection on the back window. But unfortunately, it's going to need a bed. I was told it had a rough run-in with a cow. Nothing major, but it's easier to just replace the bed than it is to fix that. And I'm going to change this door as well just because of that but right now there is one major problem with it motors in there but it's blown we did not know I'm not faulting anybody we were told it ran at one point and had a good not necessarily a good motor but the motor was replaced, supposedly. It was just sputtered and died on the way home. Turns out it threw a rod, I think. It's got rod knocks inside of the oil pan. So I'm going to do the easy thing and just replace it. I'm going this weekend to one of the local pick and pulls. Find me a four. Find a five seven. Sorry, excuse me. And that's going to be the first order of business. I need to get this truck running. This is, well, for one, it's my dream truck. And on top of that, it's got to be my tow rig. I'm not just plopping a junkyard motor in there, though. I'm actually going to take the time to do a few things to it to make it reliable. Then plop it in there. If this block is still in decent shape, which the way it's looking, it might be. I'm going to punch this one out to a 383. Get me another intake. Port everything. You know, try to make solid 350 400 horses and the torque to match it you know because it's a one ton it's got to pull a bigger load 
Paul the plan is a either a three five or a four seven drop. I haven't figured it out yet. I've got a dually rear end found. Beds are relatively common in this neck of the woods, but not terribly easy to find. Transmission's still in good shape. It's got a brand new clutch in it. I do know that for sure. Um, trying to think what else. New tires and maybe wheels. I might just keep these these wheels that's a trailer wheel until i get the dually wheels for it which i'm just going to go with a set of 16 inch alcoas so i can swap the tires off this onto those i do want to convert it to a gmc grill because i like that style grill better than i like this and i'm going to put the interior pieces to match i might consider new seats for it out of a sierra but i'm not sure yet the steering wheel at the very least is going to get replaced after all that's done that 2019 ram's leaving getting replaced with something i like a little more than it and we'll keep going so i'm going to wrap this video up for now because it's getting close to dark and i want to go inside and enjoy my saturday night so follow me on tiktok ethanol 573 instagram 573 racing uh facebook i am going to start posting on there regularly again if you're from there that's 573 Racing as well. And I'll see y'all next time.